being escorted into the ring by Anne MacDonald, Vice Chairman of the Crofts Committee. So we move on to our second group of the night now, the Hound Group, being judged by Michael Quinney this year. An expert with many breeds of dog, but including Basenjis in the Hound Group, Pugs and Norwegian Buhuns, I believe. And Rottweilers too, yes. Before we see the best of breed winners enter the ring, we have a lap of honour for the imported register. In the past, cross qualification has been restricted to only kennel club fully recognised breeds. However, this year, Crufts has scheduled... Now, the first thing we're going to see coming into the group is a lap of honour for our imported register winner. Whilst the best import register... They're not on the full kennel club breed register, so not entitled to compete in the group. So but they do get their moment on the green carpet. And it's the Chideko de Lefna. This breed, as the name implies, is a native of Sicily. So this breed just getting established in the UK, a native of Sicily. A hunting dog. Very tidy lines there. And, and similar in a way to a, a, a fairer hound in miniature. There are differences, but for a general type, yes. We're now ready to see the dogs in the hound group enter the ring, being led in by the Afghan hound. So here we have the first of our best of breed winners, the spectacular oh, Afghan oh, hound. And now the Basenji. The Basico the first of the little rough-coated Frenchmen, this is the, the Basset Fauve de Bretagne. And the, the Grand Basset Griffin Vendienne, one of yours, Jessica. And the smaller cousin, the Petit Basset Griffon Vendienne. And the Basset Hound, the one we see most of. A big round of applause for the Beagle. And the Bloodhound. And the first of our dachshunds, the long One of the giants, this, the Borzoi. And then the standard long haired dachshund. And the miniature version, the, the miniature long haired dachshund. The standard smooth. And the miniature smooth haired dachshund. And the little mini smooth. The wire haired dachshund. Time for the wire coach. Here's the standard wire haired dachshund. And the miniature wire haired dachshund. And the little mini wire. The deer hound. The elegance of the deer hound now. The finished spits. And the russet little finished spits. The fox hound. Workman like fox hound. The grey hound. The grey hound. Instantly recognisable. The Hamilton Stoverer, the Swedish fox hound. And the Abedon Hound. The Irish Wolfhound. There, the power of the Irish the Wolfhound. Elk hound. The Norwegian the Elk Hound. And the Otter Hound. The Faro Hound. And the Portuguese Pedengo. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. The Rhodesian Ridgeback. Saluki comes next, very keen to get in there. There's the Slugi. And finally the Whippet. Thank you, Keith. And there's Michael Quinney taking a look at the best of breeds that have been sent to him in this massive group. And now come to the second group to be judged on this, the second day of the trust. It's taking the stewards a little bit of time to get everybody organised. The grace and elegance of the Afghan at the head of the line there. Very alert looking Basenji. And there's the three French rough coated hounds the Fauve, the Grand Basset, and the Petit Basset. And the tan and white Basset and a tricolour beagle. There's the little fauve. 
My Breeze, the Grand Basset. Oh, a little unsettled there. The Petit Basset, by contrast, standing like a rock. <laughs> the Beagle. Massive lines of the Bloodhound and the Borzoi. And the, the long and low, the Dachshund family now. Six of them. Two Standards varieties of each coat. Little red miniature smooth. Very impressive looking wire. And there's the mini wire. Curving lines of the deer hand. <laughs> Typical Finnish spirits barking. <laughs> they never do anything else, do they? <laughs> Foxhound's a little wary. It's the uh, camera. Oh, basically think it's a predatory absolute eye. Absolute elegance and flowing lines in the greyhound. Oh, that's a picture, the outline of the Hamilton Stovara there. Gleaming with condition. The Beethen Hound, snacking. <laughs> Massive, massive Irish wolfhound. Curving lines. Happy face of the elk hound. Workman like otter hound there with that coat. Grace and elegance of the pharaoh. And the little pedengo by contrast. The Rhodesian Ridgeback come from over 250 here today. Grace and elegance personified the Saluki, and there's the Slugi. And finishing up the line, the Whippet. Yes, and the Afghan hound is so popular at shows and in other walks of life that it needed two judges here today. Chris and Lou judge the dogs, and Mrs. Mary. So here's the first of our hounds. This is the Afghan hound, a bitch, four years old, named Rachel comes from the USA, handled by Anna Stromberg in the ring, bred by Christine Pinkston. Such a beautiful head and neck. And look at the, e the elegance of neck and outline. The f distant expression, it's far-reaching expression. Big winner in the United States, specialty show winner and won many groups at championship shows and a big best in show winner in America. This is Anna Stromberg handling, born into the breed, dedicated handler. And this Afghan literally floating round the ring just as they should, perfect little ring tail. And a light lifting carriage, light lifting movement. Furrowed brow of the Basenji between those lovely ears. This is Priscilla, three years old, owned by Trish Hallam and Dee Hardy. Trish handling in the ring and uh, bred with Sue Kite and Jeff Gillespie as well. Yes. And again, we want the swinging stride of the Basenji and typified by that tightly curled tail. It'll shake before we get going. It's said that they should look like miniature gazelles in that elegance and shape. And these are such clever breeders. They have produced Basenji after Basenji at this level, doing so well, such beautiful type. That lovely tight curled tail there, very typical. Swinging stride, the standard call swan. Here we see it. This is eight-year-old Uno, so a Basset Fauve de Bretagne winning from the veteran class, or certainly a veteran in age. It's come from Sweden, belongs to Elizabeth Stromberg, ha Stromberg and handled by uh, her in the ring, I think, and bred by Mrs. Turton. And, yes, and th this is the colour which distinguishes this this breed, just this variety of the Bassett family, but workman, workman like, striding out well. Medium length of back, well let down in the chest, but good ground clearance. 
Beautiful dog. Bred in this country, exported to Sweden, coming back to compete. And that's And just setting up the the dog just to show it off at its best. Lovely expression there. This is Fergus, a Grand Basset Griffon Vendien, just two years old, bred by Fiona Buchanan and Michael McLaren, Mike handling in the ring. They come from Scotland. Characteristic head there with those long turning ears, beautiful long foreface. And there's a nobility about the head, isn't there, Jessica? There should be indeed. And I'm right in saying, Jessica, this is the longest of the varieties of Basset. Should be slightly longer than it is tall, but balanced, always balanced. And Rough coat, no exaggeration. And there's those curling, turning ears swinging in the breeze there. There should be good extension in front, nice deep chest. And this tail carriage, Jessica? Maybe should be a little higher, like a sabre. And here we have the Petit Basset Griffon Vendien, smaller cousin. This one's Irma, two years old, belongs to Irina Antipana, Phil Freer and Marita Rogers, handled by Marita in the ring. Third CC today, so made up to a champion. And, and, and the petit is more moderate in everything. Moderate length of back, not as long in the head or in the ears, Jessica. Am I right in that? You are, and they should have that lovely little short tail. This one was bred in Poland, imported to this country, and has done very well for owners and handlers. And handler Marita Gibbs has been best in show at Crafts with a standard poodle and an Afghan. Cheeky little petit face. This is the Basset Hound, of course. This is Nana, 17 months old, has come from Italy to compete, owned by Antonella Bonasca, bred by uh, Secchi Elviris Teresa. This one, a tan and white. Judge picking up the feet there, feeling the skin. A handful of skin. <laughs> well, they shouldn't be exaggerated in the skin. That's one of the things the breeders are getting away from exaggeration. Strong bone and big, strong feet there. And striding out well. They, they should have some substance, but they still have to be athletic and stride out cleanly. Winning a first CC at Crufts today for this bitch. <laughs> There's a lot of loose flying skin there. <laughs> Beautiful ears. Yeah, it's a lot of substance in that one. The neat lines of the beagle. This one's two-year-old Tina, owned by David Craig, who's handling in the ring. They come from Darlington, six cc's so far. Beautiful balance. All we want is a balanced, unexaggerated hound with a soft head and expression. They should stride out purposefully and economically with his long, clean stride. I was with six of them earlier today in Discover Dogs, three couple, because of course they hunt in packs. <laughs> Holding a very level top line. There we see the softness of expression of the breed. Lovely moving on the lead, Jessica, but if you if you won't want to let them off in the park, it'll be a long time before they come back. <laughs> Unmistakable this, the bloodhound. This is Farlap Guesswork, George. Bred by uh, Sam Sutcliffe. They've come all the way from Russia to compete, though, for owner Maria Dorosinka. So, again, another one who was bred here, exported, and has come back to compete at Crufts. And very good eyes and expression there. Tight eye rims. 
<laughs> George says, no, I don't want to do this. Now, the movement of the Bloodhound, it says elastic. They have to be clean striding, but there's a power and elasticity about them. Very free moving in profile. A massive dog, but one that should still be able to do a job of work. And it said that the, the, the long ears encase the scent when they have their head down. They're scent hounds, they get their heads down to take in the scent. Cold scent dogs, yes. The long legs of the three year old Borzoi. This is Anton, owned by Jean Claire who also bred the dog and is handling in the ring. They come from Onga in Essex. Distinctive top line, this rise over the loin. You know, fit for function. You know, the breed standards give the breed the features they need to fulfill their fun function. This strong loin, arched, gives it propulsion and galloping power. The long legs allow it to cover the ground. And, of course, the Borzoi was the Russian wolfhound, so this was a dog that the had to to go up against a serious adversary. The, the wolfhound of the aristocracy, yes. And Anton isn't just a pretty face, he enjoys, enjoys his lure coursing too, so a dog that works as well as comes into the show you ring. See beautiful veining and cleanness in the muzzle there and lovely eye and expression. Now, the first of our Dachshunds, this the standard long-haired Dachshund, champion Bronya Lothario, Logan. He's four years old, owned by Emily Mitchell, who also bred the dog and is handling in the ring today. They come from Tyne and Weir. This dog has 21 challenge certificates. And viewers should know that it only takes three to become a champion, so he's had a lot of winning. In their native Germany, they're known as teckels, which means badger dogs. And they have to, apart from going to ground, they also have to do the, the tracking as well. So that although they're low to ground, they still have to have ground clearance and, and mobility. And after the winter we've had, I must admit, I wouldn't like to have to try and keep one of these Dachshunds clean. <laughs> Wagging his tail happily there and free striding, even though the dog's low to the ground, there's a bone and substance there, isn't there? And we see the lovely level top line, long but without exaggeration. Now, the miniature version, this is the mini long-haired Dachshund, this is Hendrix, six and a half years old, belongs to Penny and Dave Young. Penny's handling in the ring and they bred the dog as well. Willow Heath Hendrix. All of the Datsuns share the same standard. It's just the size and the coat which differentiates them. And here, the miniature, it's, it, it would be the ideal if they weighed less than five kilograms. At some shows, they're weighed, but it's not compulsory. The challenge is to get all the Datsun features scaled down in miniature. And there's Hendrix's little front legs extending very well for such a tiny person. Conically shaped head, almond shaped eyes, which are dark. A very <laughs> serious expression. And very proud in the head carriage, too. The standard smooth Dachshund now. This is Evie, two years old, owned by Dawn Sego and Scott Gibbard, Gibbard or Gibbard. And also bred by them, Dawn's handling in the ring. They come from Norfolk. They should have a degree of elegance in their carriage, workmanlike but elegant with their, their head carriage. Well developed in the fore chest for heart and lung room. And even though the standards may be the same and it's just the size and coat that differs, there is quite a difference in type between the varieties, isn't there? Yes, we can get it, but you know, and, and, and temperament, the temperament varies from, from coat in the coat sizes, in the coat and size too. This one very bold, very... And now the smooth-haired miniature. The breed judged by 
That's almost a different ex expression, isn't it? Yes, I'm here and I'm doing what you've asked me to do, but I'm not really that bothered. Very composed. Now the mini smooth dachshund. This is April, four years old. Little mini smooth, owned by Sue Urgis and Marjorie Child Thomas. Handled by Sue in the ring, and Sue, of course, bred the dog. Her Sue line affix, very famous for her mini dachshunds. Clear red, <laughs> raring to go too. And this might be the smallest person in the ring tonight, but it's not the smallest personality. And we see the power in those hindquarters. The underline slightly cutting up, which is correct for the breed. Now the standard wire-haired dachshund now. This is Matisse, six and a half years old. They've come from Denmark to compete today. Belongs to Camilla Hube, who's handling in the ring. Bred by Carlos Pedroso and Pat Patricia Romanelli. Yes, comes from a famous kennel and looks very impressive here. The this dog has been best in show five times at international shows in Europe, which is a, a great thing for a Dachshund to take the top awards. The harsh, wiry top coat and an undercoat. This is lovely proportions and balance. I like this very much. Lovely proportions. And you can see the Christmas of coat, you know, just by looking. Gorgeous, gorgeous in quality. You can just see it there coming towards you. And don't you think the eyebrows and the little beard give them great character? Now the miniature wire-haired dachshund, this is four-year-old Sam. Belongs to uh, Bernd Kugnau and Susan Holt. They also bred the dog. Four years old and winning his first CC today. What a place to win, to win it. He's been runner-up for it several times, but took the, took the big award today, so the owners will be very pleased. Looks a very hard condition, a real working dog. Looks a very much a working type. In the native Germany, they still have tracking trials before they can get their championship. The Deerhound. This is three-year-old Gus. He's come from Bolton to compete. Belongs to Derek Hawkins, who also bred and handles the dog. Second CC today with three reserves, so working his way towards champion. The elegance of that neck and head carriage, beautiful, soft expression. Yeah, it's, 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 an, exp an expression looking out into the distance is wonderful. They call them gaze hounds, don't they? You know, for a, a tall dog, they're very light and elegant on their feet. Rather like a rough-haired greyhound in shape. We see that arch over the loin. Should be a hound of curving lines. Might be a working hound, but my parents had these for years, and I tell you what, we all sat on the floor. We never got a place on the sofa. Now, what a carrot! What a complete contrast. This is the uh, finished Spitz with that russet red coat and the little Spitz tail. This is Pimu, eight years old, another one winning from veteran. Belongs to Rob and Hannah Thompson and Angela Cavill. Bred, of course, by Dave and Angela Cavill, whose Tovery affix is very famous in this country. And we saw her barking earlier. <laughs> That's part of the breed, breed character. Because when, when they were out hunting, when they saw the game and birds, they had to bark to attract the hunters. So a breed feature. If you like a quiet life, the Finnish Spitz is not the breed for you. <laughs> but that lovely glowing color in coat, which is, a, again, a prized feature. 
from those lovely tightly padded feet up long strong legs this is chairman four-year-old foxhound owned by rosemary griffiths bred by anne hartley from staffordshire now I, I see his full name is north staffordshire chairman which means he's come from a pack he's a pack hound which has come into the show ring he's not really settled with it however the tail carriage tells us that only six fox hounds here today they're, they're just relatively new in recent years in the show ring all power but as you say you can see in his expression too a little wary of his surroundings he'd rather be out chasing foxes across a field or rather chasing a scent <laughs> yes, lure yeah. these days another set of beautiful long legs a deep chest and that wonderful neck and head this is a greyhound this is annie four years old come from italy to compete Beautiful lines, look at this snake-like head, clean, long neck. People have always said about these, head like a snake, neck like a drake. And you can almost see everything in the greyhound without putting your hands on with the, the clean angulation of the shoulders. You're right, there's nothing you could hide there, is there? And we could... When these came into the ring, I thought the outline of this dog was absolutely superb. The Hamilton Stovara, this is Trinity, two and a half years old, belongs to Jamie and Sue Bryant, who also bred the dog. They've come from Cumbria. Absolutely workmanlike hound, the Swedish foxhound, characterized by this rich tricolor, black tan with some white markings. The tail carriage should not come above the level of the back. They have to be functional. Such clean lines on this breed. If you're going to hunt by sight, if you're going to gaze, you need long legs. This is the Abethan Hound, Rafa, 16 months old, a young one, owned by Lizzie Egan, handled in the ring by Jill Morris, and of course Lizzie bred the dog too. They come from Wales. Those large ears are characteristic of the breed. This, this is a breed which needs not a lot of angulation in the shoulder. The brisket is above the elbow, and that straighter angulation gives it a hovering gait, a slight hover before it puts its foot down. The Cinnabethan hound in first gear, that is. This is three-year-old James, an Irish wolfhound. This one's come from Belgium to compete at Crufts. 34 challenge certificates or their equivalent around Europe. This is a big winning dog from the continent coming to compete and has won through. What a gorgeous expression. Lovely strength in the head, this neatly folded back ears. Reputed to be the tallest breed of dog, Jessica, and with a lot of substance to it. And of course, as a breeder, it's difficult to produce that size and substance and maintain balance. And again, strong bone. They have to be a dog of curving lines. There should be no straight lines. In my, and we see that curve and arch over the loin, drop down to the tail, and a lovely curve to the back leg. And to get grace in something of that substance and size is a real achievement. And the Norwegian elk hound. This is Nell, 14 months old, so a real youngster, barely out of the puppy class. Owned by Jill Cooper, who also bred the dog and is handling in the ring. They come from Evesham in Worcestershire, so only just down the road. 
the Norwegian elk hound it should not be too heavily built good length of leg spits like in its head shape that's a wedge shaped head sharply pricked ears and this tail carried over the back and a thick weatherproof double coat The Norwegian elk hound. This is Amanda Ansel as the judge for otter hounds. These attractive dogs are not to be found in great numbers. Now here we go to the otter hound. This one is a multi champion. Hugo's eight years old now. Belongs to Ray Garner. Was bred by Ray as well, who's handling in the ring. They come from Hillingdon. And again, it's a breed which should have a majestic head and those long folding ears slightly curving inwardly. Weatherproof coat, rather an oily coat, Jessica, so they're uh, sometimes a bit uh, odorous, shall we say, yes. But they're one wonderful breed. At one stage, I thought they would go into extinction with the banning of otter hunting, but a few specialists have kept them going. You can really imagine a dog of this grace and elegance standing at the base of the pyramids in Egypt. This is a pharaoh hound. This is Kibi, five years old, owned by Jenny Hall, bred by Anna Larsson and Tanya Sadheim. They've come from Sweden to compete. And of course, the handler instantly recognizable. We've seen her in the group many times. Yes, and she has won the hound group here before with one of her pharaohs. The easily distinguished outline and, and silhouette of the dog with those sharply pricked ears. A racy mover. She's having trouble keeping up with that one. Using those ears, paying attention to everything she's saying. Can I get away with it? I'm just going to stride out a little bit more. One of the comparatively newer breeds at Crafts, but very popular. This is Peanut, a little Portuguese Pedengo, three years old, and a Dutch champion. Owned by Diana Curtis, bred by Eileen Siegert. And the little Warren Hound of Portugal here, the, the rough coated, hard coated. He also come in the smooth, shorter coat. Absolutely workmanlike. And a very tidy little specimen of the breed, this one. You're very popular in Portugal, both as family pets, but also for working. They, they're, they're really good hunters. Well, it says here that little Peanut likes to chase a lure, if given the yes, chance. Yes, I'm sure. Such a cheeky little face on the Portuguese Pedango, working those ears. Very alert. This is the Rhodesian Ridgeback, a dog originally used for hunting lions, so a fearsome character. This is Dukey, two years old, owned by Karen Lynn, bred by Carla Coppins, handled by Karen in the ring. They've come from Walsall in the West Midlands. Now his name tells us where he originated and also tells us one of his chief fe features, the ridge of hair which runs along his back with two little crowns of hair over the withers. They were bred to track lions and hold them at bay till the hunters came. Strong and athletic. You see the ridge there running along the back. The Saluki, this is Dexter, a three-year-old dog who belongs to Jeanette and Alan Glaster and Mary Parker, bred by Mary Parker and Jeanette's handling in the ring. They come from Carlisle. Very elegant, excellent head and expression. This light gait. Again, another sighthound, so there are these long legs and made to gallop. 
after gazelles originally, weren't they? So they had to be swift. Dogs had a very successful year last year, winning the, the Hound Group at the LKA and at Manchester early this year. Such an elegant expression. This was another breed judged today by Mr. Jeff Horswell. He selected this male for his best of breed. This is the Slugi. And you mustn't worry about the ribs showing. These dogs are supposed to be spare. It's the way they're designed and built. You can't put too much weight on a Slugi. It's impossible. This one's come to, from France to compete. Again, thought they originate in North Africa. I went to the Saluki breeding center in, outside Dubai where they also had slugies and they claim that the, the DNA would be very similar but there are differences in the phenotype in, in their appearance. A little different in the head and especially over the croup. Now the last of our hounds, the instantly recognizable Whippet, one of the most popular in this group. This is Troy, four years old. Belongs to Jane Wilton Clark, who also bred the dog. We saw Jane winning in the, uh, I think it was the Junior Warrant Ring yesterday, so she's as a youngster has done really well. And he's topped an entry of 417 whippets today. Two judges, one for the dogs, one for the bitches. So a tremendous achievement to win. We want a smooth, daisy-cutting action. There should be very little lift of the front legs. They should cover the ground smoothly and hold their athletic lines. Again, that muscular arch over the loin. And Whippets, such popular pets, because although they are swift hounds and they will chase, they're such lovely characters at home. Gentle, love their comfort too. Now, Jessica, who will Michael choose here in the in the shortlist the Hound Group? We've got a good good selection, varied shapes and sizes, and uh, he'll have to think hard to get his down to eight. Right, just stepping in to remind himself of what he found on the dog on close hands-on examination. And the hound group's a large group. A lot of quality in there. Statuesque Abethan hounds, the Hamilton Stovara that looked so nice standing. Very alert, finished spits. Curving lines of the deer hound. Michael Quinney walking around, just reminding himself of, right, now, what did I like? Borzoi, Bloodhound, a little group of French rough-coated hounds there. Ah, oh, in comes the Petit Basset and the Beagle. The standard long dachshund. And the miniature smooth comes out. And a long walk to the to the Irish Wolfhound. I thought that Irish Wolfhound looked absolutely superb. The Rhodesian Ridgebacks call forward and the Saluki and the Whippet. So there is the shortlist in the Hound Group for Michael Quinney. So he's been quite economic with his choices. A hasn't absolutely, he? yes. Made, wasted no time getting his uh, shortlist out. So now we'll see that shortlist move again. Once more before we mix the selection of our hand group wins. 
do give them your support, ladies and gentlemen, when they make this last move in this last section. So, of course, it was a Petit Basset Griffon Vendian that won Best in Show last year. Here in the Hound Group, we now have Irma, bred in Poland, campaigned here in the UK. The little Petit Basset with Marita at the helm. Such a capable handler. She won't be feeling any nerves, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, I don't know. The Beagle. This is Tina. Again, free of exaggeration. Just putting the brakes on a little bit there, I think. And of course, performance is so important at this level. Logan, the long haired Dachshund. Emily Mitchell with her mother, Fran, such an experienced team with this breed. He's won a couple of hound groups in the past, so um, experience and a big winner. Wagging his tail all the way. Sue Urges with her little miniature smooth April. Very busy in her action. Now, here goes James again, that glorious Irish wolfhound all the way from Belgium. Beautiful, clean action, getting the hops well underneath it and lovely in front, too. I like that wolfhound, that's gorgeous. Dukey, the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Strong, handsome dog. Good top line and just falling off to the tail set, which is correct for the breed. And now it's the turn of the Saluki. Grace and elegance of the Saluki. Now, Dexter. Light action. I'd just like him to go a little more slowly, keep him together here. Now he's settling now. And the last marshal, Mr. Lou, is the winner. And Troy, champion Charlton, simply a lord for Whippet. So who's your tip in that lineup, Frank? Well, I've got, a, I've got an affection for the Saluki, but I did like the look of the Irish Wolfhound. And the standard long Dachshund went very well, I thought. Now but you're hedging your bets. <laughs> That's three. Each way bets. It's Cheltenham next week, isn't it? Yes. Michael Quinney taking a look at that really super lineup there. Details make the difference here. He's given it to the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Or oh, no, no, he's, he, he, no, no, he's just asking the handler to stand with it as opposed to kneel. Yes. Goodness See. me. <laughs> it's the Irish Wolfhound. <laughs> Irish Wolfhound, very impressive on the move. All the way from Netherlands, a big winner there. Standard long hair in second place. There, the Rhodesians in third place. Thank you, Michael Quinney, for giving me a heart attack. <laughs> and the handler, perhaps, yes. And also the Whippet in four. She's had a very good show, hasn't she, Mr. Wilton Clark? Yes. Oh, but this glorious Irish Wolfhound, just in time of First Avenue, three year old James. They've come from Belgium to compete. He blew us all away. What a beautiful animal. Takes the Hound Group for Crafts 2014. A graceful giant of a dog. And here's the trophy coming in. Irene Terry, past secretary of the Windsor Championship Show and a Basenji breeder herself, handing out the trophy. Just in time. And a rosette befitting the size of the dog, methinks. <laughs> yeah, 
So there we go. There's the long haired, standard long haired Daxon taking second in the group. The Rhodesian Ridgeback in third place. And Janet Wilton Clark and her beautiful Whippet in group four. The fourth group winner there, Jessica, for Sunday evening. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. So a lap of honour now for James, that glorious free moving Irish Wolfhound who takes the Hound Group for 2014 here at Crufts.